Welcome back to YouTube everyone. Good morning, afternoon or evening, as the case may be where you are here in Indianapolis. It is about uh, almost 11 o'clock p.m. In any case, today or tonight, I have a North Tech fan. This time of year, if I remember right, it's really cold in the north, so don't know that they have much demand for fans. But anyway, at my place, contraband fan, there's always a demand for fans. I don't care what the temperature is. This model, a new modern fan, which could almost pass as an old fan, being that it is actually all metal construction blades grill motor stand and the lot so way to go north tech my first complaint however though is and there are a couple this sticker which says as if we're too stupid to read don't stick your fingers in the fan which if it had exposed moving parts that might be necessary to put on there except that it doesn't there's no way no possible way I can get in there so that's redundant hey everyone how do you like being treated like a moron anyway this thing had the bearings seized up as is often the case with fans I find it probably has the oiled for life bearings in which case they run dry and its life is over so what I figured I would do is open it well I got it already lubed up that's simple look at that it actually still works has low speed first then medium then high and it's really very strong for a newfangled fan you can tell because it moves that much noise so then, what I thought I'd do, I've had several of these. This is the first one of them that worked. So I saved the blades from them. Until now, I didn't really know why, but I figured now I would get here. And, oh no, look how easy the grills come off. This thing must be cheap. No, 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 I did that in preparation for this video. The other blades I have don't look like this. Looks like some kind of ultra-modern guillotine blade with the pointy leading edge. That's actually an aerodynamic feature. Pretty good, but it has not much form to it and a straight line fold there, which makes for noisy aerodynamics. And the dirt buildup will show that there at the crease, the dirt buildup is heavier than on the rest of the blade. So what I thought I would do is pull that blade off and switch it out with, with these two blades. Both of these are factory. Let's get a little closer look at these. Oh geez, I'm just bumbling all over the place. Anyway, not to worry. And tunes have stopped. Oh well, can't stop and bother with that now. Let's get all this clutter out of the way. I'll do a little comparative comparison on these blades. Identical, very nearly. This one is inverted. Now both the wings have the top mount on top of the hub. All of them have three pop rivets in there, but the pattern for structural rigidity, which is laughable on stuff this thin, but in any case, this is convex and it's concave on this one. This one has the proper bend, or more so to a slider effect than I would have it, an angle, smooth, the air can roll over it without bouncing around and making a lot of noise, whereas this one has the straight pitch, as does the original. Now, I checked it. All of these have the bastardized size bore, which matches up with this, so they're useless except on newfangled motors. Trouble is that I was having here, the old blade won't come off. Now, the, that is a trash can I'm putting them in, kind of, a bit of irony or perhaps a uh, Freudian slip of some sort but the set screw came out and it is the 5 16 
remarkable, not some wacky metric crap. Trouble with it is, the outer end of the blade is either mushroomed from it being hammered on there, or it's some newfangled safety feature, which I tried a number of tricks that didn't work. By gosh, this will get it off. Yeah, good old Dremel. I'll have to do that while I'm not filming because I don't have three hands. In any case, I'll get that blade off, keep this one, and then because those are close enough to identical, I will put one of them on as factory original and one of them as souped up, contraband fan style. This sticker will be kept on this blade just as an exhibit of modern tomfoolery of manufacturers. Bunch of lawyers and Chicken Little have taken over the world. That's what this really says. They left off the don't use our fan to scare your neighbor's cat sticker. That's what I really want to see. In any case, North Tech. Doing an actually pretty good job building the fan. And it's internal timer. I, I mean, thermal protector didn't blow when the bearing seized. Could be the folks that bought it had more sense than most. I'd like to think so. It's about time people got back to that. Oh, and one other detail on this. It has the interchangeable hub. See the three screws there fastening it on there and it even has the locator. Remarkable. Remarkable. This is actually somewhat of a quality built fan. Alrighty then, for now, this video concludes and I will have an update on it promptly. Thank you for watching. Do check back because there's going to be a lot more stuff. It's middle, excuse me, middle of winter. I got lots of free time and I got stuff piled up armpit deep every which way. I'd love to show you, but it's embarrassing to show all the clutter in my house and the dog hair around it and so on and so forth. But I got, I got cool stuff. That thing and that thing and so on and so forth. Some of it's been in videos, some of it has not, but it all will be, including well, never mind that. All in good time. Thanks for watching. Check back soon. Contraband fan out for now. Praise Jesus.